In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of Numbers. The Israelites left Mount Hor by the road to the Sea of Sarah to skirt the land of Edom. On the way, the people lost patience. They spoke against God and against Moses. Why did you bring us out of Egypt to die in this wilderness? For there is neither bread nor water here. We are sick of this unsatisfying food. At this God sent a fiery serpent among the people. Their bite brought death to many in Israel. The people came and said to Moses, We have sinned by speaking against the Lord and against you. Intercede for us with the Lord to save us from these serpents. Moses interceded for the people, and the Lord answered, Make a fiery serpent and put it on a stand. If anyone is written and looks at it, he shall live. So Moses fashioned a bronze serpent, which he put on a stand. And if anyone was written by a serpent, he looked at the bronze serpent and lived. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O oh Lord, listen to my prayer, and let my cry for help reach you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. O oh Lord, turn your ear towards me, and answer me quickly when I call. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. The nation shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the earth's kings your glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion again, and appear in all his glory, then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless. He will not despise thy prayers. The response. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Let then my cry come unto you. Let this be written for ages to come, that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. For the Lord leaned down from his sanctuary on high. He looked down from heaven to the earth, that he might hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to die. Your response. O oh Lord, hear my prayer. Let my cry come unto you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. 
All who come to him will live forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away. You will look for me, and you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. The Jews said to one another, Will he kill himself? Is that what he means by saying, Where I am going, you cannot come? Jesus went on, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I have told you already, you will die in your sins. Yes, if you do not believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus answered, What I have told you from the outset, about you I have much to say and much to condemn. But the one who sent me is truthful, and what I have heard from him I declare to the world. They failed to understand that he was talking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing of myself. What the Father has taught me is what I preach. He who sent me is with me, and has not left me to myself, for I always do what pleases him. As he was saying this, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, our first reading presents us with a somewhat strange image, the bronze serpent. And as the Lord said, if anyone bit and looks at it, he shall live. And yet we have to recognize that in this reading, it is a precursor of what is to come on Good Friday. But the Lord is our salvation. And when you gaze upon the cross, similar to the bronze serpent, you find something strange. You see a man in agony. You see one who is in extreme suffering. And yet that's great consolation to us because we understand that God knows our sufferings. He knows what it's like to be with us. And therefore, not only, is he, not only is he man, but he is also God. God who understands every part of our being. And so we don't just gaze at the cross as the Israelites did. We also believe that in God, in Jesus Christ, we have our salvation. When we gaze upon the cross, when we believe in the cross, we see him who has paid the price for our salvation. He raises us up. My dear friends, during this difficult time, let us never forget to gaze on the cross, and to meditate on the passion of the Christ, on his sufferings, because in him, my dear friends, we have our salvation. In him, we always have hope. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In faith, let us pray to the Father, who through the sufferings of his Son has saved us from all condemnation. The response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That God's people may succeed in spreading the good news of salvation to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That a growing number of people may accept Jesus as their Saviour. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are earnestly searching for the truth may find Jesus, who is the light shining in the darkness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering from pain, anxiety, fear, and loneliness may see the light of Christ shining over them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That perpetual light 
may shine upon the faithful departed. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now turn to our Blessed Mother during this time of trial. O Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, held of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide, so that as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Amen. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of the Lord. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial but deliver us from every danger, O oh, glorious and blessed Virgin, Our Lady of the Lords, patroness of the sick, pray for us. Let us pray. Father in heaven, source of all blessing, grant that the blood shed by your Son may gain an increasing number of adherents to the faith, so that they may make his sacrifice fruitful for mankind. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offences and direct our wavering hearts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, the world for, for by your cross and resurrection you, you have, have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say, say the word, word my, my soul shall be healed.
communion ends upon. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all to myself, says the Lord. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. O God, we choose to show mercy, not anger, to those who hope in you. Grant that your faithful may weep as they should, for the evil they have done, and so merit the grace of your consolation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth the Masses in. Thanks be to God. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in his valiant tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, and eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. 